Coming up on 5-Minute News. North Korea missile launch tests Biden administration. Kamala Harris to lead efforts to stem migrant flow from Mexico and Central America. And brighter outlook for US as vaccinations rise and deaths fall. It's Thursday, March 25. I'm Anthony Davis. North Korea launched two ballistic missiles into the sea near Japan on Thursday, Japan's Prime Minister said, fueling tension ahead of the Tokyo Olympics and ramping up pressure on the Biden administration as it finalizes its North Korea policy. The missile launches highlight the threat North Korea's illicit weapons program poses to its neighbours and the international community, the United States military's Indo-Pacific Command said in a statement. The command said it was monitoring the situation and consulting allies. Japan lodged a formal protest through its embassy in China and said the test threatened peace and safety in the region, while South Korea's National Security Council expressed deep concern. Japan's Coast Guard said the first missile was detected soon after 7am and flew about 260 miles, followed by a second 20 minutes later that flew about 270 miles, indicating the missiles were short-range weapons. North Korea has previously test-fired missiles over Japan that were able to carry nuclear warheads and reach anywhere in the United States. The launches coincided with the start of the Olympic torch relay in Japan today, beginning a four-month countdown to the Summer Games in Tokyo, which were delayed from 2020 because of the coronavirus. President Joe Biden on Wednesday named Vice President Kamala Harris to lead U.S. efforts with Mexico and Central America's Northern Triangle countries to try to stem the flow of migration to the United States. Biden's decision gives a high-profile assignment to his vice president, a daughter of immigrants who had forged a reputation as an ally of immigration advocates. As California Attorney General, Harris had to deal with a major influx of unaccompanied minors at the state's border with Mexico in 2014. It is a task that carries political risks for Harris, a potential future presidential candidate. Border woes have been an intractable problem for multiple presidents. Biden served in a similar role for then-President Barack Obama when he was vice president. By assigning her to handling diplomatic efforts with Central America, Biden is elevating the migration issue as a top priority. Just two months into office, Biden is struggling to get a handle on a burgeoning migration challenge along the U.S. border with Mexico, a problem the Democrat blamed on the somewhat draconian policies of his Republican predecessor, who left office with his border wall incomplete. Biden said the United States was going to need help from Mexico and the Northern Triangle countries of Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador, and that Harris agreed to lead our diplomatic efforts and work with those countries. Harris said the job will not be easy, but is important work. It is work that we demand as a people of our country. U.S. officials are battling to house and process an increasing number of unaccompanied children, many of whom have been stuck in jail-like border stations for days while they await placement in overwhelmed government-run shelters. More than three months into the U.S. vaccination drive, many of the numbers paint an increasingly encouraging picture, with 70% of Americans, 65 and older, receiving at least one dose of the vaccine, and COVID-19 deaths dipping below 1,000 a day on average for the first time since November. Also, dozens of states have thrown open vaccinations to all adults or are planning to do so in a matter of weeks. And the White House said 27 million doses of both the one-shot and two-shot vaccines will be distributed next week, more than three times the number when President Joe Biden took office two months ago. Still, Dr Anthony Fauci, the government's top infectious disease expert, said he isn't ready to declare victory. 
What's giving Fauci pause, he said, is that new cases remain at a stubbornly high level, at more than 50,000 per day. The US on Wednesday surpassed 30 million confirmed cases, according to data collected by Johns Hopkins University. The number of deaths now stands at more than 545,000. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.